Maggie. So this is my marina. My boat's the uh, little one with the red canopy, third one in. Oops, I'm going to trip over Meg. Tucked away between the big ones. Just off for an early walk. Oh, gosh, that was a big step. Got the boat's moored up near the rock. Some interesting things you see by the river. Old uh, narrow boat. Of the ducks. This time of morning is just beautiful, isn't it? Seeing a couple of joggers. But the rest of the time it's just listening to the birds. The young sheep, maybe this year's lambs. There's definitely more flow on the river Nen at the moment. I thought this the other day, I saw some weeds going by fairly quickly and I took a photograph here um, a couple of Saturdays ago and there was swans sat on that uh, part of the weir and that's quite heavy flow. So I'm just almost at my uh, destination. I think the local name for this is Hard Water Crossing and that's the uh, back of the mill where the um, turbine thing as I spoke about in a recent video. It's such a lovely walk. You enjoying it aren't you? So the Grade 2 listed Hardwater Mill is just to the west of Wellingborough in Northamptonshire on the River Nen. The buildings date from the 1700s to the early 1800s, although there's been a water mill on the site since the time of the Doomsday Book. Milling ceased in 1946 and it's now a private residence. on my way back. Um, it's only about half an hour to walk back to the boat. I'm going to have some uh, bacon, eggs, tomatoes and I've got a little bit of uh, black pudding. So that's going to be nice. A nice cup of tea. I've not even had a cup of tea yet. I've just got up straight away out of bed. Such a beautiful morning. We had rain in the evening, in the night, here on the uh, roof. And just before I went to bed, I was sat uh, listening to some music, listening to the rain, and then I realised I'd left, <laughs> left one of the side hatches open. So I uh, had to go up and uh, close that and had to let some water in on the floor. So thankfully the Krauss flooring is uh, thoroughly waterproof. 
large group of swans there, or flock. There's a place up in um, I think it's Norfolk I used to go to. I'm still a member of it's Wellney Wetland Centre, and uh, I think they have the largest population of swans arrived there. Um, Buick, mute, and Hooper swans. I think these are mute swans. I can't tell from the distance, but more than likely. These lovely crab apples falling from the tree. I'm sure there's lots of things people can do with those, but uh, I haven't got the space for them or the uh, knowledge. I think you make like crab apple jelly and things like that. There we go back to the marina. There's my little boat tucked away between the wide beams. Stopped off on my way back from my daughter's to overlook the uh, Grand Union Canal. It's one of the bridges where I see a lot of cars parked up and uh, there's obviously moorings along here. Something I'm going to try probably next year is uh, a bit of constant cruising between uh, bridges, etc. Good afternoon. So that was the way. Whenever I bring the big lens out, don't see much wildlife. I've seen um, some lovely swans nesting. As he says that, there's two herons just flying over, but they're still a bit far away. Um, some lovely swans nesting, which I'll show you a pic of just now. And um, also a kestrel par parked, perched on a um, branch, again, fairly distant. Um, but I'll wait till we get back to the boat, see whether I've got a good shot of it. But um, doesn't that bridge look lovely behind me? So yeah, I'm going to carry on walking for a bit, see if I can uh, see anything of interest. I'm on the bridge now. I, um, I came out last night, and again, it was probably a bit late, so I was editing that last video I put out with the uh, Thai curry on, etc. But um, I did get quite a good shot of the moon coming out with some clouds. It looked like it was like a meteor or something. It's brilliant. Um, quite, quite detailed as well. When I got back and put it on the computer, you could see the craters in the moon, which is uh, really cool. Yeah, I'm going to carry on wandering, see if anything comes along. Today is a little job. Now I've got an aerial for the TV. Also put this so that uh, it's got a proper name, Hop Up, Step Up. Let's fix that in there so I can uh, get onto the roof a bit easier. Solid. There's a bit of a pain. The, um, Back of the fridge is freezing up quite badly. <clears throat> There's some water running down a couple of times and up to the back and it's like uh, the Antarctic. Well, probably not now with global warming, but uh, yeah. Just trying to get back before it rains. Just been for a quick walk after dinner. Beautiful sunset. Quite pleased with what I got done today. I was going to finish the painting the um, the rear doors on the boat, but I didn't get round to that. But I bought uh, a new aerial, and I've used a old photography lighting tripod as the aerial pole. It's an extendable one, so it's quite good being able to put it up and uh, down as necessary. And I've got that fixed onto the wooden top box for now. Uh, obviously makes a huge difference to the picture I'm getting in the boat. So what I had originally was one of these little stubby aerials. So uh, yeah, it's good. And that little hop-up bracket. I wonder if it has got a name. If you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, just about make it. It's stunning, look at that. Just been sat here all uh, evening watching the news about uh, 
the queen dying 70 years on the throne serving our country um, it's kind of shocking really I had an inkling that um, it wasn't good news just the way the the reporting was coming out and yeah I just kind of had that feeling that then it was announced this evening um, yeah really sad we've got a, uh, a new king don't know whether it's going to be called Charles or whether we choose another name I suppose that will be decided in the near future but uh, for someone who's always known just the Queen which is probably most of us it's a very sombre and sad occasion um, you know especially these times where the, the country's facing such issues with energy and bills and gas and everything else that's going on it's uh, yeah very sad the um, marina here lowered the flags to half mast and someone played uh, the last post on the trumpet and I went down to watch that but uh, yeah got uh, a sad end to the day just catching up on the news now seeing the people going down to various palaces Windsor and Buckingham Palace and uh, obviously Balmoral where she's uh, passed away so here's to the Queen thank you for all your service and uh, here's to the new King God save the King Good morning it's the uh, morning after the night before so to speak it was announced last night that um, our queen had passed away. We now have a king. Something uh, you don't really think about until it happens. I think it affected me more than I thought it would. Um, in my career I've seen a lot of death and bereavement. You become kind of hardened to it, I guess. I lost my own father eight years ago. And that hit me quite badly. And um, yeah, it's like the Queen's just always been there. You know, you can't escape it. It's on every coin, every every banknote, on the news. You know, a magnificent woman and inspirational leader of this country. Um, yeah, I don't think it's sunk in. I don't think it's going to sink in for a long while for a lot of people. I'm not, you know, the biggest royalist going. I respected the royal family. I know there's been a lot of criticism, and she's had a lot to put up with with uh, certain things that got on that have gone on within the family. But uh, she was a magnificent lady, and she's going to be greatly missed. It's um, just a sign of the times. How much comes out on the media? How much press there is? the tweets, the YouTubes, talking about such a beautiful person. I think that's it. She's a, a kind, generous lady. Um, so that's all I've known in my 56 years. I've had 70 years on the throne. I don't think that's uh, ever going to be repeated.